Now to Nick Walinda's historic walk across the Messiah volcano, inching his way over a lake of molten lava on a wire just over an inch thick. We're gonna, Nick's going to join us live exclusively in just a moment. There he is. But first, Will Reed was right there for it all and has more. Good morning, Will. Good morning, Robin. Of all the indelible moments and images that came out of last night's event, one that stuck out was the first step that Nick took off of that wire and onto solid ground. He raised his arms in triumph, but it was every step that he took to get there, 1,800 feet over that volcano, that was full of suspense and drama. Nick Walenda stepping into history, becoming the first person to ever cross a wire above an active volcano. Oh my God. Live in prime time, his aerialist wife, Erin Deera, the opening act. Nick watching from the edge of the crater with pride as she hung by her teeth. What a sight. With his wife back on solid ground, it was time for Nick to take his first steps in the thick fog, 1,800 feet off the ground. Wearing goggles and a mask to fight the Messiah's toxic gases, enveloped by the plume of sulfuric acid, you can only see him with a thermal camera showing his heat signature. It's a storm. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. A heart-stopping moment seven minutes in. The cable was just around my neck. But he stayed calm as he crossed the most dangerous part of the walk, right above that 2,000 degree lava. Woo, the gas moving under me. 30 minutes into his feet, drenched in sweat, the final step. And death was defeated. What goes through your mind when you're watching the love of your life oh my God. 1,800 feet away? It's funny, um, I was watching him on the big screen and I could see the stress in his face and I was like, I'm sorry, I can't. I told my in-laws, I was like, I can't, I can't watch that. And my dad's Most mic was it, open, yeah. so I heard you saying all of that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was I'm like, nervous. oh, I guess I should sorry. smile, but I got a mask on. <laughs> you can't see it anyway. What does it mean to be surrounded by your family for this? I wouldn't do it without them. There'd be no, no reason to. This is all about family and legacy and family history. And, and, um, and again, inspiring people that nothing's impossible. Speaking with Walenda's family after the event, I asked his dad what he might want to say to his son. He said, I love him and I'm proud of him. What better thing for a son to hear? I'm just the narrator of this story. Why don't we hear from the hero of the whole thing? Nick Walenda joining us live on GMA, guys. Narrator you are, Will. Thank you. Oh, Nick, it is so good to see you this morning. Many folks want to know, how, how are you feeling this morning? I'm feeling relieved, absolutely. A lot of stress, a lot of nerves, a lot of anxiety that leads up to an event like this. Well, I, I, I'll bet, but give, take us inside your heart and mind as you finally stepped off that wire. Again, just a, a huge feeling of relief. This has been something I've wanted to do for a long time, and we've had so many hurdles and so many setbacks, really even over the last couple of weeks, that have caused me to lose sleep. In fact, I haven't slept a lot in the last two and a half weeks because of this event. So I just, to be honest, I thought, wow, I can finally relax a little bit. Wow. <laughs> I mean, you were facing so much in this walk, the acid gas, the fog, the extra weight that you had to carry. There were wind gusts and updrafts. What was the biggest challenge you had throughout it all? You know, the gases were thick and uh, very, they actually caused my eyes to wander a bit. There was points where I got concerned that I wasn't able to focus well enough on the cable, uh, which throws off your equilibrium. But I will tell you, the winds were shockingly bad. There was a point where I tried to take a step and the winds were so strong in my face that it actually pushed me backwards and I thought I was going to have to step backwards. So again, we knew there was a lot of things we couldn't predict, but the winds were much worse than I expected. You, Nick, stood where no one ever has and maybe no one ever will again it was wonderful to hear uh, you're a spiritual person to hear how you were praying as you were going across the wire were you able though to, to take in the moment I know you had a task at hand but could you take in where you were I could actually and, and at the top of the, sh the walk actually as I was walking I was really be able to take it in the wire was very stable and the gases were thin at the very beginning and the very end of the walk so it was pretty mesmerizing to be honest with you I mean it is indescribable to explain the lava flowing below and, and the look of that and the heat that came with it and again those gases uh, it's it's hard to put it into words how, how about Aaron Dara's incredible aerial ballet I can imagine you're watching that with a lot of anxiety and a lot of pride. 
Absolutely, a little bit of both, as you mentioned. It was, I was, of course, concerned for her, concerned for her safety, and, and really concerned for her nerves. We've both done this our entire lives, our family for several hundred years, but to be, stay, be able to stay calm in those situations is how you're able to be successful. I would say it's fair to say this was your biggest professional challenge yet. So how do you, how do you go <laughs> up from here? What's next? <laughs> You know, I, I don't know at this point. There's a lot of ideas that I have. I don't think at this point, after walking over the Grand Canyon and Niagara Falls and now an active volcano, Times Square and Chicago, I don't know how to top anything. I think at this point, to be honest, my life is about parallels. What can I do that is similar that will be inspiring and motivational to others? Mm, beautifully said. Good point. Congratulations, Nick. Congrats. Yeah. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.